Hey guys, it's Brittany here. You know me as B Barnhart Outdoors. I'm here in central Missouri and I'm about to show you how to cook your wild game turkey. So now you're going to go ahead and cut away all of the bad parts of the meat where your shot may have hit in different areas on the breast. So after you cut away all of the bad meat pieces, you go ahead and um, rinse the meat off and make sure that all of the hair and things like that or any leftover um, particles are rinsed off and then you go ahead and cut the breast in the slices that you like. What I like is um, the smaller <clears throat> cuts so that whenever I deep fry it, it will be more of a portion size. After you cut your meat to the sizes of your preference, then your meat is ready for seasoning. Now we're going to mix the brine ingredients and so you want to go ahead and boil them all together until the salt is dissolved. I'm going to list off the ingredients to you just so you have an idea of what is in the brine. Um, sea salt, black pepper, brown sugar cranberries, apple, garlic, orange peel, juniper berries, thyme, rosemary, and sage. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix in the seasoning into the bag to sit overnight. And mix it around a bit. Okay, and the next step is rinsing all the meat and the seasonings off after soaking it all night long um, last night. So today, Thanksgiving, I'm going to go ahead and get it patted dry and ready to cook. In the next step, we're going to bake half of the wild game turkey. Uh, so I went ahead and lined the pan with aluminum foil and I'm going to add olive oil to keep it from sticking and things like that. So you want to make sure that you have your oven um, preheated at 350 degrees and you're going to cook the meat for around 30 to 45 minutes but you definitely don't want to make it super dry. You want to keep the moisture in uh, as much as you can. Um, so we're going to get ready and go ahead and bake it. Okay. Um, and now we're going to fry the rest of the wild game turkey. Sorry, my mom yells every time we start the video <laughs> for a countdown. But anyway, so I'm going to fill the pan with uh, the oil just lining the bottom. And then I'm going to dip the uh, wild game turkey in the different, um, the different dips and then go ahead and fry it. So it's just egg and milk mixed in here. And then uh, we have flour and salt and pepper mixed. Mm -hmm in here. So it's just like step one, <laughs> step two, and step three. Go, go little guy.
those of you who like your turkey a little extra crunchy, we are going to grind up these club crackers to add on the outside of our turkey. Right. That looks good. That's that's good. That's good. Right? Okay, so um, for this time, I'm gonna use coconut oil because it's a healthier option, and it's team uh -huh. effort here because uh -huh. the pan is really hot. Okay, there we go. Wow, I made a mess there. It's on. So now we're just um, doing the same exact steps, but we just added in the. Um, what could be breadcrumbs for other people, but we're using cracker crumbs today because that's all we have. And the club crackers are actually very tasty on the outside, creating a crunchy flavor for the uh, wild turkey. <laughs> So you want to make sure um, that both of the sides are completely golden brown before they're done and make sure that you have like a tester piece to check the middle. Hey guys, um, this is the final product of the baked turkey and fried turkey. So we are going to enjoy our Thanksgiving dinner now um, with some of my mom's other concoctions. And I'm enjoying it with some of my mom's sweet potato souffle, souffle, and stuffing, and and green beans with bacon.